Frank frowned. That seemed a harsh way to describe a young woman. What do you mean? I've seen her kind before. Thinks she's better than everybody else. Smarter, too. Won't follow the rules. Thinks she can trick people into doing what she wants, and she'll do anything to get her way. That doesn't sound evil, Sarah said. Frank marveled at how she managed to make it sound like she was confused instead of outraged. I said she'd do anything, the matron said with a trace of impatience. If she can't get it by charm or trickery, she'll get violent. Have you seen her get violent? Sarah asked, again still sounding confused. Have I seen it? Oh, no, she's too clever for that. But I see how the other inmates avoid her. They're afraid to get too close. Perhaps she's just defending herself, Sarah said. Are the other patients violent? Not in this section. Oh, we've got some who would slit your throat for you if they got the chance, but they're locked up tight in another ward. This lot is meek and mild, unless you stir them up. You said you don't think Mrs. Longley is insane, Frank said. Not if you think being insane is talking to people who aren't there or thinking you're Queen Victoria. We got a lot of them like that. But then we got some who act all right most of the time until you cross them. Then you see their true colors. And she's one of them. You mark my words, ain't nobody safe from her. But don't worry, we keep an eye on her. She won't get away with anything while she's in here. Now, I gotta go, I got work to do. Before they could object, she was gone. My goodness, Sarah said, her eyes wide with astonishment. Your goodness indeed. Let's get out of here, Frank said. They had just gathered their things when the girl who had escorted them in appeared. Are you ready to leave? Yes, we are, Sarah said. I'm to take you out. Can't have people wandering around, can we? Why not, Frank asked mildly. The girl seemed surprised. Ain't safe, and seeing strangers upsets the inmates. Why wouldn't it be safe, Sarah asked, as they followed her down the hallway, back the way they'd come in. I thought the violent patients were in another wing. The girl glanced back and shrugged, then turned away again, never missing a step. You never know what might make an inmate go wild. <laughs>